the one who has unlimited source of grace, mercy, and blessings. All matters will return to him. And Allah is well aware and know and record everything that we all do. I bear witness there is no creator except Allah, the one and only with no partners, the almighty and a sure truth. I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the servant and messenger of Allah, my dear brothers and sisters of Islam. Our talk today, inshallah, is about the true believer and his worth, his benefits to his surrounding in his life and stretching after his death the same as he was alive. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave the best of example as it's narrated in both Sahih and the authority of Umar, may God be pleased with both of them. That the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The parable of a believer, the similarity of the believer, is like a green tree with leaves which never fall or dry out. Let it sink in. The likeness of the believer is like a green tree with leaves that they never fall out and never dry out. The companion start to guess it is that tree or that tree and Ibn Umar who narrated the hadith said I wanted to say it is the palm tree but I was young and I was shy to speak. Then he said that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said it is the palm tree. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him gave the most appropriate example of the believer's worth with a very well known tree at the time and well-known benefits to the surrounding. A tree represent and point to giving, goodness, and blessing in all its state of existence, which is, which is the palm tree. Palm trees are blessings in all its parts and giving and in all its forms, from the time it starts growing to the end of its life and beyond. Palm tree provides different kind of sweet dates. The pits provide food for livestock. The fiber to make ropes. The petule used to make chairs, furniture, and big container. And the leaflets make small containers. And many, many other benefits well known of the palm tree and its uses. The same is the believer. And this is the point the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is bringing to all of us. The believer is a blessing overall. In all circumstance, his benefit is continuous for his own and for others. And he is righteous element wherever he is. You find him valuable to all. The believer is compassionate to his company, merciful to his family, Place other goodness before his own. A man of obedience where people look at as an example. When people see him and see his goodness and his deeds, they praise the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, hand, and have his hand in many acts of charities which benefit his brothers, rich or poor. That is the description of a believer and that what we should all be aspiring to fulfill and put into action. Like the palm tree which does not lose any leaves, the believer never lose hopeful wish and granted accepted supplication for his brothers, which reflects his immense blessings and generosity. This similarity in goodness and blessing between the palm tree and the believer is narrated by Al Haris ibn Abi Usama that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The likeness of the believer is a tree which does not lose any leaves. Then the Prophet inquires, Do you know which tree I am talking about? Talking to his companions. The companions said, No, O Prophet of Allah. The Prophet said, It is the palm tree which never loses any leaves like, like the believers as none of his supplication are rejected. He does not lose a supplication 
No supplication for a true believer actually go unresponded with positive response from Allah the Almighty for his own and his brothers. What is intended giving this parable, this similarity by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was also a brief and to the point when he said in another hadith narrated by Imam al-Bazzar on the authority of Umar that he, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the believer is like the palm tree. Whatever comes from it will benefit you. Very short, very clear, and to the point. That is the description of the believer is like the palm tree. Whatever comes from it is beneficial. This is the believer goodness and blessing in all his circumstance and to whoever is around him. Dear brothers and sisters, among the resemblance between the believer and the palm tree, that the believer always beneficial to others even after his death. Like the palm tree, when its life span is over, its benefit never ceases. The palm tree, palm tree trunk can be used as a pillar for buildings, and its core at the top provides a white stem, which is sweet and pleasing to the taste, and it's called al jumar. Actually, a part of the tree of the palm tree that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, liked very much. The believer, when he dies, the benefit of his deeds never cease, as it lasts as a continuous charity, like a knowledge he taught, his a good example, and behavior which can be a guidance to others for others to build on. This is the ultimate blessing which presented itself in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who taught his companion and all of us the conduct and the state of a true believer and any of us who call himself a Muslim. It was narrated by Ibn Umar that he said, while we were sitting with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Al-Jumar was brought, and, among, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, among the three, what's whole blessing like the blessings of the Muslim? That is the point. The blessing of the Muslim to his own and to his surrounding. Then the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, identified the tree saying it is the palm tree. Dear brothers and sisters, the last of the likeness of the believer to the palm tree is what both share of strength, stability, and high aspiration. As the palm tree is stable in the ground with strong roots and grow high in the sky, the believer is solid in his faith, sincere in his deeds, spread goodness on earth, which reach high in the heavenly sky, where he is remembered with his benefits, with his beneficial deeds in the beginning and the end of the days, as the angels go up and down between earth and the heavenly sky. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, expressed this meaning citing the Quran as it is narrated by Al-Tirmizi and Al-Hakim on the authority of Anas, may God be pleased with him, that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought a container of date and said the parable of a godly word. We're talking about just a good word as a godly tree whose root is firmly fixed and its branch reached the heavenly, heavenly sky, giving its fruit at every season by the permission of its Lord. Of its Lord. Then the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, identified the tree, saying it is the palm tree. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Surah Ibrahim, verse 25, he gave the same parable. That's Allah talking, what can be translated. Don't you see how much, how Allah sets forth parables? Allah put the example for the Prophet Muhammad to follow, to put parables, to bring it to our attention, to bring it to our understanding, so we can get notice of something we see, something we experience. Allah said in, in verse 25, uh, Surah Ibrahim, don't you see how Allah sets forth a parable, a godly word, just a word, a godly word as a godly tree whose root is firmly fixed and its branches reach to the heavens, giving its fruit at every season 
by the permission of its Lord, and Allah sets forth parable for mankind in order that they may remember, in order that they may reflect. This parable the Imam brought to us is not just something you take it casual. It's something you reflect on. That's why we come to Juma. Ah. That's why we come to this sermon every week. So inshallah, we improve ourselves and aspire to do better and better inshallah. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the likeness of the believer in his deeds, knowledge, and faith. Always solid in his belief with high aspiration. Nothing can stop his benefits and goodness to others. He stays firm like the palm tree, which sometimes may be struck by stones, but it respond with the best of fruit. Like the palm tree might be struck by stones, but respond with the best of fruit. Examine yourself, my dear brother and sister. This is the purpose of this sermon. This is the, pur this is the purpose of this parable, is to examine yourself. Brothers and sisters, what did you do to put forward of knowledge, deeds, and continuous charity which provide your return after your passing? The Imam was talking in the Friday night halaqa about that this earth is your opportunity to build for the hereafter. You're missing a lot when you don't attend the halaqa every Friday after Isha. It's a reminder. We forget, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to be reminded constantly why we are here on earth. What is the purpose of our existence? And alhamdulillah, we have a scholar to remind us and bring it to us very simple and very clear. The teacher is available. It's up to you to show up. It's up to you to seek knowledge. It's up to you to reflect. So examine yourself, my dear brothers and sisters. What did you put forward of knowledge, deed, continuous charity, which can provide to you returns after you are passing, after you are dying, after you die? And death always comes very suddenly. And what is the proof that you put forward for your belief and faith? If you were, like, if you were in the likeness of the example that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, provided, then you are on the right path. And continue what you are doing, not allowing any sinful desires or devil among the devils of the man or jinn to distract you from the straight path of Allah. But if you don't possess the blessings the Prophet gave in his example, you are a nasty and bitter fruit which is not good for anyone or anybody. Not good for yourself, not good for your surrounding. Not good for the faith of Islam because you are representing the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is how serious you should consider and ponder and reflect on your own. Do your best, my dear brothers and sisters, to improve yourself and reject any sweet talks and false promises which never transform into action and deeds, as talks will never make up for any good deeds. May Allah make us among those who listen, comprehend, and apply, inshallah.